Okay, so now I'm going to show you the power of the SC501 and how it works. Um, basically, this hooks up anywhere that you can find a faucet, okay? Uh, it comes with different adapters and um, we travel with our unit, we take it everywhere we go and we've been able to hook it up just about anywhere, okay? So um, after you hook it up, there's a diverter on it so you can continue making tap water in two different forms and when you flip up the switch, what's going to happen is the water is going to start traveling through this white hose here. It's going to go into the unit and the first place it's going to stop is right here. This is a filter, okay? So there's a filter in the machine, but it's not a water filter, which most people think in the beginning. This filter here will last you 3,000 gallons. It takes out all the impurities in the water, the chlorine, the fluoride, the heavy metals. It's also an antibacterial filter. So, um, and it's made in Japan, it's a medical grade filter. So it will let you know too when the 3,000 gallons are up. She'll say, filter replace, okay? So average family of four, anywhere from six months to a year to go through the life of that filter, okay? So um, next stop is the electrolysis chamber, okay? This is seven large medical grade titanium plates, okay, so they're big and solid and they electrostatically dip this in platinum. Now this is a medical device, okay? There's 230 watts of power that are going in and charging these plates. So we have a lot of positive and negatively charged plates. And all we're doing is separating the water from positive to negative, right? So the positive water comes out one end and it's gonna drain down the sink. Because positive water, remember the positive ORP? Those were all bad, those are oxidants. They're also acidic. Anything with a negative is going to be alkaline, which is what we want to drink. So the negative water is going to come out this white hose. We're going to collect that and drink that. And down this gray hose here, all that acidic water is going to just be going down the drain and we don't really think about it, except for one time and I'll tell you when. So it's important to do your due diligence, but it's also important to properly educate yourself. Just so you know, there's other units out there on the market. In fact, there's about 17 of them, okay? So what's so different, right? Well, if you go online and you get caught in the whole Google trap, you're going to find out that there's other units out there for half price that say, well, they're, we're, we're just like them, but we're half the price. Well, make sure that you do your homework because what they're not showing you is this, okay? They have tiny, tiny inside engines about the size of a credit card made of mesh. Okay, and really, these are just really misleading you. They're not going to produce medical grade water to give you any results. So we want you to do your due diligence, but make sure that you work with the person who introduced this to you so you can properly get educated. Okay? Next, I'm going to show you how to make the water. Um, all you have to do is press these buttons here. When you press the purple buttons, you're going to be making the drinking water. Okay? And I can make about two gallons a minute. So I just turn on the faucet here, and it goes through the filter, through the electrolysis plates, and out the white hose. So you can make anywhere from 8.5 pH to 9.5 pH drinking water. Now the company recommends you start off at 8.5 pH. Uh, as you know, like I said, most people are acidic. So we want to make that journey into becoming alkaline as comfortable as possible because sometimes the detox process is a little too much for people. But if you, if you want to just start at 9.5, it's certainly your choice what you want to do. But we do recommend that you start at the 8.5 and work your way up every couple weeks to minimize that discomfort. Now we have the clean water. The clean water is used a couple things. First of all, if you're taking a medication which is time-released or baby formula, you want to make it with the clean water. And why I say that is, well, first of all, you saw what happened with the tea bag. Okay? It releases everything at once. So if you're taking a time-release medication, take it with the clean water or some juice if you don't have the clean water available, and then 30 minutes later, you can go back to drinking the alkaline Kangen water. Okay, also babies, like I said, we're born alkaline, right? We're born slightly alkaline, so babies don't really need alkaline water until year or two of life. Next water, beauty water. we have beauty water. Now this is 5.5 pH, it's for the skin. Your skin is a 5.5 pH. Okay, so your skin really loves this water. It acts as a toner. And as you know, women, we, we buy toner all the time, but we're spending quite a bit for it. And all it is is 5.5 water with some 
chemicals really and fragrances involved. So this is a much healthier choice and we can make it for basically nothing, right? So I'm going to go down here. The strong acidic water. Now this water is how I make my cleaning products. And you already saw what happened when I cleaned those tomatoes and how I emulsified the oil. Well, when I press this 2.5 pH, I'm actually going to be splitting the water and the alkaline water comes out here. Now they're both going to total 14. So if I'm making 2.5 strong acid water down here, I'm making 11.5 alkaline water out the white hose. So again, those two are always going to total 14, even when I'm making the drinking water. But the only time I'm going to collect the acidic water is when I'm making the 2.5 pH because I like to store that. When you go below 2.7 pH, you're going to be able to kill 99.9% .9 of germs, bacteria, E. coli, salmonella, a lot of different things that are growing in our kitchen and in our homes. So rather than spraying Lysol or some harsh chemical in your home, now you can spray basically water and get the same result without the harsh chemicals. Very important for you and your family to think about. Now the 11.5, I'm sure you saw me, what I did with that. Um, I also spray that, keep that in a spray bottle, and I spray my whole house. I use it um, as Windex, I use it on the countertops, again, my laundry. So you're basically eliminating a lot of things that you probably use every day. Not only the cleaning products, but the bottled water.